Welcome to tonight's presentation of the Pro Basketball Association. If you want pro, you want the PBA. Welcome once again, one and all, to another edition of the PBA, brought to you by Triangle by 1891. I am Jimmy Berger, calling the action here for you today from Chattanooga, Tennessee. The Georgia Vipers come to town to take on the Chattanooga Spades, and it's a rematch from about three weeks ago where the Vipers edged by the Spades 99-96 in Columbus, Georgia. The Vipers are on a four-game win streak, 4-0, while the Spades look to even things up between them here today, their record is 2-1. Before we get to the action, let's give you some starting lineups. For the Georgia Vipers, number two, Daryl White, number four, Cortez Cheney, number six, Cornelius Thomas, number 13, Izel Pierce, and number 23, Alquan Mendenhall. For the Spades, we have number one, Santa Haney, number two, Jermaine Nelson Thompson, number 13, Kemont Jenkins, number 15, Isaiah McLean, and number 22, Jamal Whitehurst. That last meeting between these two teams, Cornelius Thomas earned Player of the Week honors, leading the Vipers with 24 points and 7 boards to go with 3 steals, shooting 11 of 15 from the floor, 2 of those from outside the arc. For the Chattanooga Spades, Kemont Jenkins unloaded a double-double, 27 points and 11 rebounds. He went 5 of 5 from the charity stripe while shooting 2 of 8 from 3. And there's your tip, ball controlled by the Spades. Whitehurst gets right down the lane, puts that ball up no good. Offensive rebound goes to Nelson Thompson, and he gets the first points on the board for the Spades. Here come the Vipers. That is Cheney controlling the ball, crossing half court. Passes out to that left side wing. Good ball rotation out to the corner. Two-pointer is up and good. A pretty fadeaway from Cornelius Thomas. Back come the Spades. Here is Nelson Thompson. He'll bring it back slow, direct in traffic now. Top of the key for Kemont Johnson. Nelson Thompson gets it back. And the pick from Jamal Whitehurst doesn't go anywhere. Nelson Thompson throws it away. Here comes Cheney right down the lane. Passes it out for three. It's up. And in and out. Rebound for Isaiah McLean. And Nelson Thompson pushes the ball past half court with a hurry. Gets it down into the post. And right to the basket, reverse no good from Kemon Jenkins. Back come the Vipers. Cheney looking around. Gets it over to Mendenhall, misses that shot. Rebound Nelson Thompson, he pushes it. Pass for McLean, he gets stopped up in, on that baseline, gives it up to the top of the key. Whitehurst step back three, it falls short. Rebound Vipers. Here comes White with it. He'll look around. He'll give it over to that left side wing. Thomas gets it at the top of the key, looks to shoot, and bounces off the rim. Rebound for McLean. Nelson Thompson slows it up. Pass down into the post for Kemon Jenkins. He bullies his way down, puts up the shot, and it's a little bit strong. Rebound for Cortez Cheney. He's looking for that outlet pass. He keeps it. He gets all the way on that baseline, steps into a long two-point shot, no good. And Isaiah McLean on that rebound, he'll look to slow it up as the defense waits for him. And he finally gets past half court, nowhere to go. He gives it over to Whitehurst on the baseline. And Santa Haney up top for three, and that one just short. Rebound Vipers, here comes White. Outlet pass for Mendenhall, three-point shot is up and no good. And White can't track it down. That rebound goes to Nelson Thompson. He's pushing right away. Gets all the way to the basket. Nice footwork in the paint and an easy bucket for the Spades. And here comes White. Daryl White with the ball. Passing half court. Over to that left side wing for Pierce. And he'll step into a three-pointer and it's good. Nelson Thompson takes that inbounds. Directing traffic. 
Down into the low post for Whitehurst. Nice spin move, easy basket for Jamal Whitehurst. Chaney brings it up and we will have a foul. That one on Jamal, Jamal Whitehurst. Vipers keep possession, inbounds to Chaney at the top of the key now. Back over to Pierce. He tries to get it down and low, and it's lost in the paint by Whitehurst. He's going to bring it back himself, and the steal from behind. The Vipers end up with it, and then give it right back. There's McLean, and the errant pass, nobody home. So the Vipers will come away with that possession. And here's Pierce. Steps into a three, handed his face. Three-pointer is good. He will have a four-point play attempt at the line here. And Izzel Pierce, currently shooting 50% from the line this season with the Vipers. Uh, he was 3 of 4 in that last game against the Mississippi Hawks from the line. Nine points total in that game. Here's Izzel Pierce's first shot from the line. And that one's good. His only shot, so that is a four-point play conversion. And here is Nelson Thompson on that inbound. They've got a full court pressure. McLean takes it. Stop and pop at the line. No good. May have been blocked. And Jenkins gets the ball back, goes up, and draws a foul. So we'll see Keemont Johnson at the free throw stripe now for first time this game. His first shot is on the way, and that one's good. Jenkins for his second shot. It's up, and he sinks both. Solid trip to the line that time. Here comes Cheney. Over to Pierce, top of the key. Uses that pick. Over to the baseline for White. Shot is up and no good. And the Spades will come away with it. Nelson Thompson brings it up. Goes nowhere. Gets it into the paint. And Jenkins for two. Just, just above that free throw line. And it'll be out of bounds. Ball will stay with the Vipers. Chaney will look to inbound, and White will walk it over to the top of the key. Chaney now steps into a two-pointer from just north of that free throw line, and that's no good. Here comes Nelson Thompson. He throws it away in transition. That pass intended for Isaiah McLean. White now. He gets right down into the, well, he lost it in the paint, and then Thomas comes away with it and puts it right up and in. Two more points for the Vipers. Nelson Thompson. He'll come back slowly, give it over to Jenkins. Right side wing. He'll put the ball on the floor. Instead, he'll take a shot for three, and that one goes down. Jenkins has a hot hand right now. Here comes Chaney. Stopped up at the half court, and he penetrates, kicks it out to the baseline, and that three-pointer is good from Pierce. Nelson Thompson gets the ball back after that inbound. He'll bring it up slower. Whitehurst with it, and there to, that'll be a travel call going back the other way. Instead, it looks like we'll have a timeout. The uh, Chattanooga Spades down by one. 4.13 left to go in the first. Welcome back, everybody. We do have a substitution to talk about as Pierce. He gets right down in the lane, kicks it back for Cheney. 
He'll put the dribble moves on, get into the paint, and lose the ball. Here comes Nelson Thompson all the way to the basket and a whistle at the end of the play there. Back to that substitution, we have number five, Lawrence Fishback, checking into the game for Jamal Whitehurst. As Nelson Thompson will get some charity here at the stripe. The first shot is up. In and out, no good. Jermaine Nelson Thompson, second shot is up. And that one also in and out. He misses both on this trip to the line. And it'll be out of bounds, Viper's ball. And another whistle to stop the play. Stays with the Vipers. Pierce takes the inbound. Right to the top of the key. He gets it over to Cheney on that left side wing. Back to Mendenhall. Puts the ball on the floor. Shot from two-pointer. No good. And Nelson Thompson gets it. Brings it all the way back. Jenkins on this far left side. Tries to cross court and throws it away. That pass intended for Santa Haney. White inbounds to Cheney. Cheney goes all the way to the basket. A lot of contact, no call. That two points is good. Kobe White checks into the game, gets that shot from just outside the paint, and he'll go to the line. First of all, to even be on tour, you got to be, you got to be one of the one of the super duper flies. People in Atlanta, they love Slutty Vegan, but like outside of Atlanta, it's crazy. The adrenaline rush that you get from it is just is amazing. We do celebrity events, casting calls, video shoots. When they say it's fresh and ready to go, like it's fresh and ready to go. We do it all ourselves. No machines, no nothing. We literally just got flat tops, grills, and fryers. Being on the road and being on tour specifically, it's like it's like you're a celebrity. We've been to Boston, Tampa, Alabama a few times, North Carolina. The fact that we are able to travel together is like a whole different relationship. I like to call us like we're like Fast and Furious, right? Like it's, <laughs> you know, we're on the road. We're not in expensive cars or muscle cars, but we're in a big giant yellow truck. If somebody's got it and they're special and you see it and you want to work somewhere where you can just be yourself, this the place. We make good tip money. You get to meet all types of people, and it's fun. Whoa, personal foul. What the feezy? You can't use a beard trimmer below the 50 yard line. This is the waterproof lawnmower 4.0 by Manscaped. What's the difference? It's got new skin safe technology to help reduce cuts and nicks. It's powerful, yet gentle, just like me. Dog, I appreciate you. Boop. Hey, watch out. Uh, I'm not ticklish. Get yours at manscaped.com. Varian Moody checks into the game for the Vipers. I was going to get an other riff that rope right there to for his uh, whistle. Yeah. First shot is up and short off the front of the rim. I'm glad I did it right, right then and not in the middle. Right. And Kobe White for his second shot. It's up. And that one's good, so he'll split the pair. Here come the Vipers. Thomas with it. Checked by White. Doesn't go anywhere. Shoots the three and knocks it down. Fishback dumps the ball down into the post. He gets it right back. And puts the shot up eventually. Teardrop will fall for him. Two more points for the Spades. Down three right now to the Vipers. Three-point shot is up and good from Cheney. They're just letting it fly now. Fish back with it. Doesn't go anywhere. 
McLean gets all the way to the basket, puts up a little shot, no good. And rebound for Pierce. All the way back down, Mendenhall for three, and he drops that one. That's three three-pointers in a row now for the Vipers. And here comes Fishback, calling plays. I'm sorry, that's Jermaine Nelson Thompson. Gets it to Fishback. And he loses it on that pass, and Chaney comes all the way back down. And we'll have a quick timeout. Welcome back, everybody. Just less than two minutes in this first quarter remaining here, and we have all kinds of substitutions to talk about. Varian Moody, number one. Devin Johnson he checks in for the Vipers, and we have J.D. Humphrey and number 50, who is not on my roster for the Spades, as the Vipers bring it all the way back down for three, and that shot no good. It'll be out of bounds, and it'll stay with the Vipers. Here's the inbounds. White gets it in this right side baseline. Walks it out to the top of the key. Chaney for three, and that one no good. Number 50 for the Spades ends up with that rebound. I'll get his name as soon as we can. And Chaney steals the ball, gets the easy bucket with no defense there to stop him. Fishback gets the ball right back. He'll bring it up slowly, uses that pick from number 50, loses it on his way to the basket. White lobs it up and no good on that attempt. Back come the spades, Fishback with it. Number 50 keeps it alive, but Fishback gets it back, tries to go back up, and a whistle will send him to the line. That foul on Varian Moody, number zero for the Vipers. 47 seconds left to go in the first quarter. The Vipers have almost doubled the score, 31 to 16 here, as Fishback will get ready for his first attempt from the line. Shot is up, and that one will go down. Fishback gets ready for his second shot, and he drops both of those. The inbounds to White. He'll bring it up slow. Checked by Fishback. Doesn't use that pick. Gets all the way into the lane. Nice little flip up shot there. Two more points for the Vipers. Here comes Fishback. He gets it knocked away in transition. And that's the end of the first quarter. Moody with it in the paint, puts up that shot, and it goes in and out. That is J.D. Humphrey with the ball. Sean Harris checks into the game for the second quarter, and the Spades give it away. Here comes Chaney. Euro step right to the basket, and two more points. Fishback gives it over to Jenkins. He brings the ball up nice and slow. Top of the key. Checked by Moody. Step back, three-point shot. It's up, no good. Rebound, Chaney. Pressured right away. Doesn't commit that backcourt. Gets it into White. Uses that pick for Moody. Double teamed. Moody gets it back in the paint. Hop step, no good on the shot. The putback is in. White credited with the basket. Some confusion on the play here. Looking for a call, it looks like. And we'll get it sorted out here eventually. We're going to have foul shots for Daryl White. He had 20 points and 9 assists in that last game against the Hawks. Getting ready for his 3-point play opportunity here. White's first shot, only shot, is up. And no good. Rebound for Whitehurst, who checks back in. Also, McLean is in the game. He has the ball now. 
over to Whitehurst, back out to Nelson Thompson who misses that three and it'll go out of bounds. It'll remain with the spades. And here we go. The inbound to Sean Harris who checks in the game. Harris doesn't use that pick, gets all the way down into the lane, but then loses it. And back come the Vipers, Cheney for three, no good. And that'll make its way out of bounds. Spades ball, here comes Nelson Thompson. Call him plays before he gets to the half court. Uses that pick from Whitehurst, dumps it off into the post. Jenkins with it now. Get back up top for Whitehurst. Fakes the shot, puts the ball on the floor. Spin move, in the paint, loses it. Cheney pushes the ball all the way down court for White. Gets it blocked away, and Cheney follows it up. Two more points for the Vipers. Here comes Nelson Thompson now. And Whitehurst gets it over to Jenkins. Three-point shot. That's up. No good. And rebound for Devin Johnson. Cheney on that left side wing. Uses the pick from Moody. Doesn't go anywhere. Gets it back to Moody in the post. Puts the ball on the floor. Scoop shot in and out. Gets it back. Puts it up. No good. And Whitehurst comes away with that rebound. Here come the spades. A little bit of contact there for Harris. He keeps the ball. Tries to dump it down in for Jenkins and they lose it in the paint on multiple possessions now. And a three point shot is up, no good. Rebound Jenkins. Colin plays before the half court line. Nelson Thompson gives it to Jenkins, high post, puts up the shot, and that'll drop for him. Two more points for Keemont Jenkins. White brings it back, checked by Harris, almost gets around him, stops on that baseline, gives it out for Moody, puts up a shot from the high post, and that shot will fall for him. Two points for Moody. All the way down court for McLean. He'll stop it up and wait for his team. And then he'll use a spin move to get to the basket. All the way there, two points for Isaiah McLean. Cheney pushes that ball down court. And we'll have a whistle stopping the clock. 6.04 left to go in the second quarter. The Spades 22, the Vipers 41. And we will have a technical free throw here for Mendenhall. The shot is up, and that'll drop for him. So we got a free one. He'll have another, another technical shot. I missed the call there. I'm not sure what happened, but here's his second shot. And that'll go down for him. So he takes a pair. And the possession remains with the Vipers. Might be discussing the clock over there. It seems like they're getting to the bottom of it. Here comes the inbound pass for Daryl White over to Thomas. Top of the key, putting on the moves, stop and pop, and he drops that one from the high post. Sean Harris 
uses that pick from Jenkins, the switch. Anthony Daniels checks into the game. He gets it over to Jenkins for that shot just above the free throw line. No good. It'll go out of bounds. And White passes it up. Three-point shot is up. No good. Did not see who that was. Jenkins with the rebound. He gets it back to Fishback. I'm sorry, that's Harris. He takes the shot, long two-pointer, no good, and rebound Chaney. Brings it back slow, checked by McLean, gets open and then tries to get into the lane, misses that flip up, and the rebound will go to Jenkins as we have a whistle on the play. Italian Twine offer detail and luxury with styles for both men and women. I love them. Clean, go good with suits, like you say. Two young brothers, HBCU grads. It's called Italian Twine. It's just a black-owned watch company. And, you know, I just, I'd like to support all black everything. Also, uh, shout out to Italian Twine for this amazing watch. This is the one my wife got me. Love this watch, one of my favorite pieces. I've always been in a watch, always been collecting watches, man, and I really like this. The Virginia based company, founded in 2014, has been featured in Men's Health, The Rob Report, Black Enterprise, Huffington Post, New York Magazine, Cosmopolitan, and more. The actual band is interchangeable. This is a fire brand, dope watch, man. And Santa Haney checks back in for the spades. And we got J.D. Humphrey coming back into the game. Sean Harris will sit and Isaiah McLean will sit. The inbounds to Matthew Jeffers. He takes his first shot from three. It's up and no good. And it'll be out of bounds. Off Anthony Daniels of the Vipers, I believe. It'll stay with the Spades. Daniels checks into the game. And looks like we'll have a timeout. 22 to 45, the Vipers are up. And we are back from that timeout. Lots of substitutions to talk about. Jenkins in the lane gets two points right off the bat. 24 to 45. The spades are trying to hang in there. And for the lineups right now, for the Vipers, we have number two, Daryl White. Number four, Cortez Chaney. Number six, Cornelius Thomas. Is that three is missed. Number 23, Alquan Mendenhall. And 24, Anthony Daniels. For the spades, we have number one, Santa Haney. Number two, Jermaine Nelson Thompson. Number three, J.D. Humphrey. Number 13, Keemont Jenkins. And 24, Matthew Jeffers. As it will remain with the Vipers. Cheney with it now, crossing half court. And it's stolen away. Jenkins bumps into the ref on his way to the basket. Easy two points there. And back come the Vipers. Thomas with it now. He slips and he'll hold on to it. Ball tied up at the three-point line between Thomas and Nelson Thompson. So we're going to have a jump ball. And the Vipers will keep it. That's number 24, Anthony Daniels on that low block. Gets it back up top to Thomas. 
Over to White. He'll put the ball on the floor, get in the lane, put the ball up, and there's a foul. So Daryl White will have two more at the free throw line. Ready for his first shot. It's up. And that'll go down. And Izzel Pierce checks back into the game for the Vipers. And he sinks both from the line that time. Coming back now, we have Nelson Thompson. Fakes the pass, gets it over to Humphrey. He puts the ball on the floor, spin move, doesn't go anywhere, kicks it back up top for Humphrey. I'm sorry, for Nelson Thompson. And Matthew Jeffers on that fadeaway takes a nice friendly bounce. And 325 left to go here in the second quarter. As Pierce puts the ball on the floor, gets all the way to the rack, nothing going for him. Here comes Jenkins all the way back he tries to go coast to coast but there's going to be a foul on the play and that'll be an offensive foul on Kimon Jenkins back the other way and everybody's getting set here uh, we're going to we're going to wipe up the floor real quick no need for a timeout We're underway. Inbound to Cheney. Cortez Cheney passes it over to that left side. That looks like Mendenhall. Gets it back to Cheney up at the top of the key. Right down into the paint. Looking for an easy bucket and it doesn't go for him. Here comes Jenkins. He gets it all the way back to Jeffers. Jeffers back out to Humphrey. Double team out there on the three-point line and they're there's no basket there. We're going to call it back here. The whistle was before the play. And Nelson Thompson will look to inbound. Over to Jeffers on this baseline here. He's stuck by the double teamed out to Nelson Thompson. He kicks it up top at the top of the key for Haney for three. And that one goes down for him. The spades are trying to hang in there. Like I said, here comes White. Fakes that three-point shot, or passes out of it anyhow. And Cheney with it. And all the way to the basket, no good. Humphrey comes away with that rebound. He gets tripped up coming out of the traffic there. All the way down the lane, coast to coast, and he misses the layup, no good. And he'll push White right out of bounds, so it'll go with, with the Vipers, it looks like, yep. We're underway again. White gets it back after that inbound. Shoots a long three with a hand in his face. No good. The offensive rebound for Pierce. Gets it back out to Thomas. Three-pointer. No good. And it'll be out of bounds. Everybody's looking like it's going to be Spade's ball here. Yes, it is. Inbounds to Fishback, who checks back into the game. And there's McLean all the way to the basket. Easy two points. The inbounds to Thomas. And we'll have a timeout. Jay Cade checks in for the spades. Isaiah McLean back in. Santa Haney. Lawrence Fishback. All check in for the spades. And I'll call out the Vipers substitutions when I see them. I see Izzel Pierce, Daryl White, as McLean gets all the way to the basket. Two points there on the inside for him. We have Cortez Cheney, who has the ball right now. Shoots the three with a hand in his face, and we're going to have a whistle on that play, so he'll get three free throws.
Cortez Cheney in his last outing finished with a triple-double. 13 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists on 5 of 16 shooting. The shot is up. That one good. Cortez Cheney. That one will rattle almost in, but definitely out. As J.K. grabs that one for the ref there. And third shot. That one's good, so he'll take two out of three on that trip. Inbounds to Jeffers. Double teamed in the backcourt. Lots of pressure. Back to McLean. More double team in the backcourt. He finally gets it past half court. The pick from Jeffers. And McLean doesn't get anywhere. Gets it cross court. That's Cade. All the way down the lane. Lots of contact. It doesn't go for him. Rebound for Thomas. Pierce steps into a three. No good. Rebound, offensive rebound for Cheney. Puts it right back up south of the foul line. That time it's a rebound for Fishback, and we'll have a whistle on the play. That one will go against the Vipers. I'm not sure which one they're going to call with that foul. But either way, we'll have an inbounds for the Spades. And Fishback. He'll keep it slow. And he loses it in the backcourt there, but knocked out of bounds by the Vipers. No transition there. Ruled a kickball. And Fishback inbounds to Jeffers. Top of the key. Puts the ball on the floor. Gets all the way to the basket. And it doesn't go down for him. And Haney... No good on two attempts there. Thomas all the way back, kicks it all the way to the baseline. Three point shot, no good. And we're gonna have a stoppage in play once more. 19 seconds to go in the half. And here comes Fishback. No timeout, sorry about that. Over to Cade. Puts the ball on the floor, gets to the basket, doesn't get that layup. And the Vipers come away with it all the way down court to the baseline. In the corner, three is good. That is Mendenhall. He's got at least two three-pointers now and a half-court shot, no good. The putback before the buzzer, that'll go down for him. When I came home from prison in 2001, I had a tough time finding a job. Have you ever been convicted of a felony? When you get to that part of the application, your heart starts beating fast, your hands become sweaty. It doesn't matter your education or work experience. That's gonna be the determining factor. What's up, man? What's up, what's up with you? What's up, what's up with you? Nothing, man. How you getting, man? Regular military, you got no sign. Inside. 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 I would fill out an application, and they tell me that they're not hiring, but they got now hiring signs on the window. Did that make you go back to doing some of the things that you were doing before? Yep. That's crazy. Yeah. That's it's kind of like they force you to set up. It's, like, it's like set up. It's systematically set up for you to have to go back. I was three years old when the U.S. Marshals came, beat down the door, and got my dad. Maybe like five the second time. I just kept asking my mom, like, yo, where's my dad? Where is he at? He would tell my grandmother, I'm not trying to do that no more. I'm trying to get my life right. What up, boy? What's up with you, boy? Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Being a barber changed my dad. Being able to have a community that he can turn to when he needed something, that helped him a lot. That was a hard moment for me last year. 
all those ups and downs that you've been through to look at you now, I'm so proud of you. I'm happy to call you my dad, man. What you just said right there is what it was all about. Everything that I've done was for that. Now I can retire, so <laughs> I can retire now. Old man still got it. Now that look good, man. Welcome back from that wild finish at the first half. 35 to 56 is your score. The Vipers are up. And all of the original starters are in the game as Cheney misses that three-point shot. Tracked down by Mendenhall. Gets it over to Pierce. Top of the key. Over to Daryl White. Gets it down low. That's Pierce. He'll draw a foul underneath the basket and get some, some charity here. And Izzel Pierce, once everyone is set, will take his first free throw. First of the half, anyhow. That one good. So the Vipers aren't looking back. 57 to 35 after that wild finish. Start of the third quarter here. Second shot is up and good, so he'll take the pair. And the teams have switched sides now. Jermaine Nelson Thompson passes it over to McLean. They're pressured in the backcourt. We have a whistle. It may be a four seconds. And it looks like it'll be Viper ball, so it is a four second call. Cheney with the ball. Gets it right down underneath the basket. He misses that shot. Pierce, who's taken some three-pointers, misses that one up close. And here's Haney passing it over to Jeffers. And he'll draw the foul and get a couple of free throws himself. <clears throat> Well, I'm mistaken. Matthew Jeffers is not one of the starters. He is in the game, though. I think he's the only one who wasn't one of the starters. His first shot is good. And Daniels will check back into the game. Number 24 for the Vipers. Jeffers second shot. That one's good. Inbounds to Thomas, cross court for Cortez Cheney. Leaves it for Mendenhall. Takes that long two and that drops for him. 37 to 60 now. Whitehurst gets the ball in the paint and loses it on the, on the back down. Mendenhall kicks it back to White. Three-point shot from the corner, no good. And Cheney will make sure that the Vipers control it. Using that pick, Thomas gets into the paint, goes nowhere. Ball stripped away by Jeffers, gets all the way to the basket, and there's going to be another foul on the play. He'll get two more shots from the line. The spades are... Down by 23, they're trying to hang in there. And Jeffers. That one good. Doing a good job from the line this game. Looking to take another pair. And he'll be four of four in the last two trips. The inbounds to Daryl White. Yeah. 
Over to the corner for Mendenhall. Long, long distance shot. He drops that one with a hand in his face. And Santa Haney controls. He shoots a long three-pointer trying to answer. It's short off the front of the rim and back the other way. Here comes Thomas. Kicks it over into the corner for White. That three-pointer good. Nelson Thompson, he'll slow it down. And they lose the ball as he tries to get it into the paint. And here comes the kick out all the way around. Good ball rotation for that three. Mendenhall misses. And Nelson Thompson finally comes away with it. Pushes it down court. Tries to get it into Jenkins. He eventually ends up with it and gets an easy bucket. And here's Thomas. Cornelius Thomas doesn't use that pick. Gets it. He instead tries to get it to the rolling man, and Daniels can't get it. Jenkins with the steal. Gives it up to Whitehurst in the low block, and he puts up a quick shot. Good on the 10-footer. Chaney gets, tries to get all the way to the basket, loses the ball out of bounds. And is it knocked away from him, or did he lose it? We'll see here. It looks like it's going to be Viper's ball, so it'll be knocked away from him. And the inbounds to Daniels. And Jeffers will bring it up. Passes to Whitehurst, kicks it back for Jenkins, puts up a shot, hand in his face, no good. And it'll be out of bounds. Stays with the spades. Jeffers to inbound. All the way to the top of the key. McLean over to Whitehurst. Puts up that three short. And eventually the Vipers keep the possession. They get it all the way down to the basket. That's an easy one for, uh, that looks like Cornelius Thomas in transition there. Beating the defense back on that. Here comes Nelson Thompson, once, I'm sorry, that's McLean. Gets it down to Whitehurst who misses it. Lots of contact on there, no call. White passes it into the lane for a streaking, uh, that, let's see, who is that? That is, uh, that was Anthony Daniels. He missed the shot, but another good possession. And Jeffers all the way down, tries to get it to Jenkins. They'll lose it out of bounds. Back to the Vipers. No, it'll stay with the with the spades. And we're gonna have some substitutions. 43 to 70 right now. The Vipers in in control. And the spades give it up top. Humphrey gets it over to Jenkins. Jeffers in the lane, misses that shot in and out. And the offensive rebound put back by Humphrey, no good. All the way back the other end. Three-point shot doesn't fall for him. And the offensive rebound credited to White. Daniels at the top of the... I'm sorry, that's Thomas at the top of the key. Uses that pick from Daniels. Doesn't go anywhere. Gets into the lane. Stop and pop. And the bounce is not friendly enough. Back come the spades. Jeffers for three, no good. Offensive rebound, that was Humphrey on the putback, no good from that 10 foot shot. And Humphrey battling underneath, gets it over to Cade, no good. And the Vipers come away with it, Daniels with the ball, going down the lane, flips it up and in, nice finger roll. 72 to 43, the Vipers, they are not letting up. Jenkins will take it. Try to get it cross court. He does. Humphrey. Checked by White. Now Cheney. Cheney reaches in, but Humphrey gets past him. Almost loses it. Puts up the shot anyway, and it'll fall. And we have a whistle. Not sure if there was a foul on that play. It looks like we'll have an inbounds from the sideline.
And we'll have a timeout. Welcome back, everybody. The Vipers have control of the ball right now. 4.23 left to go in the game. I'm sorry, in the third quarter. White fakes the shot, gives it over to Thomas. Cross court for Daniels over in the corner. Puts up a long shot, no good. Jeffers comes away with that. Handles the ball, he's looking around. Dumps it down low for Jenkins and it gets stolen away by Daniels. Daniels leaves it for Cortez Cheney. Three is good. And the inbounds will go to Nelson Thompson. He'll push it down court immediately. Jeffers takes it over on that left side wing, gives it back to uh, Nelson Thompson. Jenkins for three, and that one falls for him. We'll see if he can get that hot hand back. And all the way back down, Mendenhall for three, no good. Jenkins gets that rebound. Back to Nelson Thompson, controlling. Gets into the lane, draws some contact, and that one falls, no call. Two more points for the Viper, or for the Spades. Down 25 points at this point. We have 3.16 left to go in the third quarter. White handling. He stops at the line and fakes the shot, passes it off for Daniel. Spin move inside. No good, but he will get a call. And two at the stripe. McLean is back in. Cade sits for McLean. First shot is good. Anthony Daniels. We'll get set and ready for that second shot. Any moment here. It's up. And that one's short. Jenkins gets that rebound, tipped away, gets it back. Playing keep away. Nelson Thompson gets it in for McLean, dishes it off to Whitehurst who gets that easy basket. Beating the defense, almost a transition basket there, but White on the other side tries to get a cutting. Daniels ends up in the hands of Mendenhall. And that shot no good. Whitehurst with the rebound. McLean pushes it up court, all the way back. Into the corner for three, that one no good from, I think that was Fishback. And the putback is good. What happens when everything we know about something changes? I tell people all the time, this is the best American story you never heard. We're out hitting the pavement, talking to restaurants, talking to bars. I don't think of myself as a whiskey salesperson. I want you to know his name. Drink by drink, we're bringing this story to light. When we have to step back through the pages of history. It's so much more than whiskey. It's so much more than a brand. It's a movement. When we have to make amends, and pay respect. We're honoring the greatest whiskey maker the world never knew. And it's beautiful. And give credit where credit is due. Uncle Nearest is the godfather of Tennessee whiskey, and the world needs to know it. What happens? We do it. <laughs> Uncle Nearest, it's more than whiskey. Here come the Vipers. Daryl White with it. Leaves it for Cortez Cheney. Down into the low post for Daniels. Puts the ball on the floor. Tries to get flashy, puts up the shot. It's just short. And that bounce will take it over the backboard, out of bounds. Spades ball. Jenkins inbounds. There's McLean with it, puts on the spin move, stops at the free throw line, gives it back up top for Nelson Thompson. And the shot is no good. Back comes Cheney. 
whistle on the play. It'll stop the ball, and Vipers will keep it. 153 left to go in the third quarter. Santa Haney is checking into the game. Kobe White is checking into the game. Jenkins and Whitehurst will take a seat. Inbound to Cheney, gives it back to White. And the shot from, it's a long two, that was no good. Jeffers gets tripped up as he crosses the half court line. And we'll have a, a bunch of substitutions I see here. Varian Moody checks in the game for the Vipers. And the inbounds. Shot is up, no good. Moody with the rebound, tracks it down. And over to Cheney. And Pierce takes it all the way to the hole, no good. Rebound for Kobe White. Gets it taken away immediately. Mendenhall handles the ball. Uses that pick from Pierce. Long three-point shot, and it's good. Nelson Thompson puts the ball all the way to the basket. And two more points for the Spades answering back. Down court for Moody. He saves it from going out of bounds. In the corner, the shot's up. No good from Mendenhall. Moody keeps control of the ball. Backing down on McLean. McLean slaps it. Moody keeps it. And he tries the up and over. He'll get the call. And McLean is on the floor. And it looks like McLean will be okay. Varian Moody. Steps to the line for his first shots. His first free shots. That first one no good, hard off the back of the rim. He'll try again. Shot is up, and that one's good, so he'll split the pair. Inbounds to Nelson Thompson. And he puts the ball right, right on the floor, and he'll get slapped away as he gets to the basket. So, Also a whistle on the play, so he'll get some free throws here. First one is good. I bet if that is his mom, he'd be like, Mama, don't say nothing stupid. You're going to get somebody killed out here. Yeah, for real. And the second shot coming. It's up. And that one's short. He almost gets his rebound back. Here comes Pierce. Right into the lane. Dishes it over for Cheney, who gets the, the two points there. A little bit of contact, no call. But there is a call right there. Nelson Thompson trying to get past the half court line and he's got to fight for it. And we'll get some free throws it looks like, yep. Nelson Thompson will get two. First one is good. The second one is short again. Twice now at the line, two times in a row, splits the pair. As Pierce handles the ball on that right side wing. Gets it down low for Moody. Fakes the shot, steps up, and no good. Jeffers almost lost it, but he, and he eventually does lose it in transition, but Kobe White. Kobe White 
ties it up in the paint. Gets that little dish off for Jeffers. No good on the, on the uh, shot, but here's Moody. Lots of contact. He gets it to go. Kobe White on the last shot. And here we have a steal already right off the bat. That was Sean Harris on the turnover there. And Daniels in the lane. Easy two points. Harris handling the ball. Fishback is in the game for the Spades along with Sean Harris. Whitehurst. And Santa Haney credited with the assist to Whitehurst there. After that turnover from the Vipers, here comes Cortez Cheney. Leaves that ball for Daniels, no good, and Devin Johnson fighting in the lane for that ball. Gets it back out to Thomas. Baseline shot is up and good. Cornelius Thomas doing his thing here this afternoon. And that is Nelson Thompson. Gets it over to Keemon Jenkins. Three-point shot is up. Short. Whitehurst almost gets that offensive rebound, stripped away by Cheney, and Thomas all the way back, misses the layup, it'll be out of bounds, and it goes to the spades. Start of the fourth quarter, and the Vipers are up by 28, here comes Fishback. And Haney gets all the way to the basket on that play through traffic. And Chaney will wait for White to make sure he has his shoes on. And number nine, Ezra Williams checks in. That shot no good. Williams checks in for the Vipers and Haney kicks it over to Jenkins in the lane nothing there back come the Vipers that's Thomas stop pop and it doesn't drop for him here's Whitehurst and a trailing track down smack down oh my goodness what a defensive play there And it'll stay with the Vipers. I'm sorry, the Spades. It'll stay with the Spades. And Jeffers gives it into Haney. Misses that layup. Coming back now. Daniels in the lane. Little stutter step. Gets that one to drop. 90 to 62. Haney dishes it off for, that was Cade in the lane, and it'll just get ruled out of bounds. Lots of contact there. I'm not sure if that was a call or if that was just out of bounds. That should have been a call. Lots of contact. It'll go out of bounds instead. Jenkins to inbound as soon as everyone's set. McLean checks back into the game for the spades. He takes the inbound. Steps back for that shot. Hand in his face. No good. And the Vipers are fighting over their own rebound. They'll come away with it. And Cheney gets it over to Thomas Johnson. Devin Johnson. And misses on that circus shot. Jenkins back the other way. Nothing there. He'll miss that three-pointer. And the lob pass passed it off. Devin Johnson with it now. All the way onto that far right wing. Measured shot, no good. Here comes Cade. He'll hold it back. And Fishback passes it to the corner for Jenkins. Three point shot, no good. The Vipers wrestle over that ball, lose it in the end. Here's Fishback with the steal and the basket. Now, here's Cortez Cheney. Far right side on that wing there. Uses that pick. 
struggles to get around that pick, but gets all the way to the basket. Looks like it'll be stepping out of bounds there. You see, black people have always needed a place to gather since the beginning of time. To build, to reflect, to inspire, to connect. They say if you want to go fast, then go alone. But if you want to go far, go together. See, in continuing to fight for our lives to matter, we must have a place to gather, to write a chapter, enjoy the laughter, think and capture, sharpen our skills until they master. Not only a place to fraternize, but to strategize and analyze and advertise and sometimes just fantasize. See, 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 there's a certain brilliance that only comes from the collective. One for all and all for one is the objective. You get the message. See, we've always needed a place for like minds to collide and unlike minds to gain a better understanding of the other side. You know the vibe. You may want to switch lanes and you need a place to pick brains and network with big names. The level up is insane. The true meaning of for us, by us, with us, grown by us, stories told by us, shown by us, loaned by us, so it's always owned by us. Somebody better write a song about us. We all we got. We all we got. So meet me down at the gathering spot. No, it's not an out of bound. It'll be a foul. It'll be a foul. I didn't see who the foul was on. No shots. And the inbounds all the way up top for Thomas. He fakes the shot. Gives it over to Cortez Cheney. Misses that three. Whitehurst comes away with the rebound. Back comes Nelson Thompson. In the lane, puts it up, flip, no good. McKenzie, I'm sorry, McKenzie. Jenkins doesn't get that rebound. Johnson passes it over to Thomas. Top of the key, checked by McLean. Over to the corner, three point shot. Johnson, no good. Fish back tracks that one down, pushes the ball immediately, gets it to the corner. Ball on the floor, kicks it back to Fish back. Puts up the shot, two-pointer. That one for Lawrence Fishback. And that shot is up, no good. Rebound, offensive rebound for, that is number 22, Otis Jones in the game. And here comes McLean. Pass it over to Nelson Thompson. Gets right into the lane, foul right off the rip. And I don't think that'll be shots. We'll inbound. We'll have some substitutions now. Number 50 coming back into the game for the Spades. It's bleak and red at the bottom. And Jenkins will have a seat. We have Moody checking back into the game for the Vipers. And number five, Jontavius Miles checks in for the Vipers. McLean stutters around. And we're back now, 92 to 66, 503 left in the fourth quarter. The Vipers are up pretty big here. And Moody takes it. Two point shot will fall for him. That was a long one from the elbow area. Nelson Thompson doesn't use that pick from number 50. Sends it to the corner for three. That shot off just a little bit to the right. 
And the lob pass no good. He'll save it from going out of bounds. Thomas with it. Gives it into the lane. Turnover. Here comes Whitehurst. Stutter step all the way to the basket. And it looked like it was going to go down, but it popped right out of that rim. There is a call on the play. Whitehurst will step to the line. And I do believe these are his first attempts from the free throw line here. Late in the fourth quarter. Now the last game was a lot closer as Whitehurst looks at the rim here. The first shot is up and that one falls for him. The Spades only lost their last game to the Vipers by three. That was only a few weeks ago. And once everybody's settled here, we're going to get a second shot from Jamal Whitehurst. It's up. And he drops both of those. Inbounds from Moody to, it looks like that's Jamal, I'm sorry, that's Daryl White. Back to Moody in the low post. Spin move. Puts up the shot. No good. And Whitehurst will come away with that rebound. Nelson Thompson, bounce pass for a, a cutting, I think that's Humphrey, two points for the Spades there, down 24 points with four minutes left to go. White uses that pick from Otis Jones, doesn't go anywhere, leaves it for the corner, gets it back, and all the way to the rim, lots of contact, no call, ball will squirt right out of bounds. And it looks like it'll remain with the Vipers. Inbounds to Jones. No good on that easy shot. I guess it wasn't so easy. He was right underneath the rim, but good defense down low from the Spades. And Nelson Thompson pushes that ball. Whitehurst right to the basket, off the backboard, and good. And here comes Daryl White, uses that pick, does not penetrate, tries to pass it down low, slapped away, gets it back to White, takes that three-point shot, measured it, no good, and the Spades will try to push it all the way down, Whitehurst can't handle that pass and it'll go out of bounds, turn over Spades. And Mendenhall will inbound as soon as everybody's ready to go here. There we are. White brings it across half court. Doesn't use that pick. Leaves it up top. Shoots for three. That ball no good. And Cade comes away with that rebound. Jeffers handles. Gives it back to Cade, top of the key. Three-point shot, no good. Bounces hard, and the, he gets his own offensive rebound. Jenkins will make sure that Jeffers can shoot that shot there. No good. And Cheney leaves it in the corner. Mendenhall, long shot. Might have been a three. No good anyway. And here comes Jenkins. He'll try to go coast to coast, and it's... No good. He puts it up again. No good. Haney can't reel it in. Here comes White. Lots of contact and finally a whistle. And he got mugged in the lane there. 94 to 72. The Vipers up with just over two minutes left to go in the game. Daryl White will shoot some more. We may have some substitutions here after this shot anyhow. No good on that first one. And Jeffers will take a seat. I'll let 
let you know who checks in for him as soon as I see it. It might be Lawrence Fishback. And that second shot is good. There's no let up in the Vipers today. And Fishback gets all the way back, misses that layup, and almost gets it back, but it'll get slapped out of bounds. It looked like it was off of the Vipers. It may have been off of Fishback himself there. And here's Cheney, pressured the whole way. And finally a whistle. That call against Fishback. And Cortez Cheney will step to the line. Just under two minutes left to go on the clock here. I'm not sure if they'll put some time back up there or not. It doesn't look like it. Cheney. First shot is good. And the second shot. It's up. And that shot good, so he takes another pair. Nelson Thompson, spin move, gets into the lane, puts it up, no good. And Jones comes away with that rebound. I'm sorry, that is, that was Anthony Daniels. The inbounds down low, right back up for the shot. That would be Anthony Daniels right there. All the way back, foul at the other end, and Cade will see some shots at the free throw line. Chaney back the other way, he gets an easy bucket. Santa Haney gets it back to Fishback. Misses that layup, a little bit short. And Daniels will have a whistle on that play. Turnover Vipers. It'll go to the Spades. 75 to 101 with just over a minute. And the Vipers will look to secure this one here on the defensive side. The three-pointer is up, no good. Moody on that rebound. And some shots for Humphrey. Humphrey. He'll make good on that free throw attempt. Here come the Vipers now. 37 seconds. White fakes like he was going to shoot, passes it to the corner, measured three pointer, and that will fall. That one for Cortez Cheney, and that's the end of the game. From the PBA and Triangle by 1891, we extend our apologies for the technical difficulties right here at the end. But your final score 106 to 80, the Vipers steamroll their way to 5 0, and the Spades fall to 2 2 on the season. Thank you for joining us, and once again, for the PBA and Triangle by 1891, I am Jimmy Berger. We'll see you next time.